Hello, today I'm in Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, and I would like to find out more about the Estonian regulation on safety reflectors and see how it has been applied and whether people, especially tourists, know about this rule. Estonia is a country in the high north of Europe. It has short days and long nights, especially in the autumn and winter. In December, the sun goes down before half past four. As a consequence, there is a need for a strict traffic policy in order to ensure the pedestrian safety in the dark, while decreasing the number of accidents. Since the Estonian Traffic Act was signed in 2011, people were obliged to wear a reflector in the evening, at night or at any case of inadequate visibility. This should be attached to one's outwear or a handbag. For pedestrians who get caught without wearing it, the fines are up to 40 euros. The Estonian Road Administration continuously launches prevention campaigns about the reflectors policy. I met Gerli Grunberg, expert at the prevention department of the Road Administration, who explained me more about reflectors in Estonia. We have had uh, different campaigns over the 10 years telling about what the reflector is, how should people wear it, why they should wear it. And uh, this year we had a different kind of campaign. Uh, what you can see also here is uh, the products that are reflective mm -hmm. and therefore you can wear your reflector and as well uh, a hat or a bag when you go into the store. They are also made of reflective materials and therefore you are visible in the dark. Okay. But what about tourists? Are they aware of this law? Well, I think the tourist doesn't, that does not know the law a lot because uh, we Estonia, yes, we have it in the Estonian law that you, ha you should wear it, you have to wear it when it's dark outside, when the weather conditions are bad, like the fog or a, or a rainy day. But the tourists, I think, if you are coming to Estonia and you are checking it, what you should know, there, then you can find the little fact that you should wear a reflector. But if you don't check it, then I think you don't know it. In the online world, TripAdvisor forums reveal tourists' lack of knowledge on the issue of safety reflectors in Estonia. Not only online, I found out about this problem. I went to the airport of Tallinn and asked some tourists if they heard about the law. Do you know what is this? No idea. I don't. No. no. I do a reflector. Okay. And do you know why I'm showing it to you? No. No. Uh, no. Uh, in Estonia, it's mandatory to wear one for your own trip. Did you know that it was mandatory in Estonia? No, it wasn't. First of all, we'd like to thank you for raising this topic, and uh, we uh, we hadn't really thought about it in that way. Because there are, there's lots of information available about Estonia before you come to the country, which you can read from tourism portals and things like that. But not quite often they don't actually feature information uh, such as the fact that uh, reflectors are mandatory here in Estonia, and you can be fined if you find it without traveling without one. And uh, at the same time, the number of tourists coming to Estonia is quite staggering. Um, Port Tallinn alone has about 10 million people travelling through uh, the ports every year. Tallinn Airport has about 2.2, 2.3 million passengers travelling every year. So giving reflectors to each and every one of them is something that would be quite tremendous. But once tourists are in Tallinn, are they informed about the law concerning safety reflectors? Let's find out more about this issue at the traveller's most trusted informer, the Tourist Information Office. Inform tourists about the Estonian regulation on safety reflectors? We do, not uh, in person all the time, but we do have this information on our website, which is Tallinn.de. Mainly they do not know about it. Neighbors, yes, but uh, people from further countries, no. It's clear for me now that tourists aren't fully aware of the reflectors policy. And of course, awareness should be raised not only because of fines, but also and mainly because of security reasons. I hope that more measures will be taken to make the future brighter.
Yet plants seem to be promising. Yeah, there should be definitely more information and knowledge about it. That means, yes, locally, no, but as you come in from the harbor or from the airport, you do not know before you are in the city and no one is telling you anything, so it might be a little tricky for them. We've already taken first steps to coordinate this with other partners as well, in the tourism industry, also the police force, and to make sure that we can raise more awareness among the tourists arriving to our country and then we are able to uh, perhaps work out some sort of a campaign and uh, make sure that no tourist will be left in the dark when it comes to selling.